Uh, herding cows. There we go. Okay, well, fine. Hey guys, welcome back to the ranch. It's been a year since I've been here. Apple tree orchard, uh, weeds are growing up. We got a weed eat today. I've got to do, a, a, there's a lot of things I got to do today. I'm here for the next four days. And um, I've already been here one day seeing family and visiting and trying to say hi's and ho's to everyone. And figuring out that a ranch this size needs more than one person to help organize, keep clean. And it is an ongoing, never ending march of, of work. And first thing I did this morning, well for one was take out this old tree branch that was here. When I say tree branch, it was a, it was a shrub brush. Been here for 30 years and it dry rotted and got nasty and old and all that. Let's take you guys over here for what we did last year. So what happened last year was that we cleaned out this, this, uh, this pin over here. There used to be a big old tree, huge tree, um, with all the scrap metal potentially, um, causing issues with the cows and whatnot. And they haven't been back in this pasture for months now because cows are mischievous <laughs> and they have curiosity problems. So let's go look at that fence. Okay, so now we're a little close. This road's a little busy. The idea is to open this gate up, let the cows in here in these next three pastures. Now that line over there, we're not gonna let them pass. Uh, that fence line. But what they did was, they came in over here, put their happy little noses up on this gate, lifted it up, wandered into the road. That was a wonderful day. So we found the culprit. This was turned the wrong direction. So literally, grab a pair of pliers, twist it, loosen this, hook everything back up, tighten it back down. We're gonna call it a good day. See, it's loose down there too. So what you want is these two facing each other. That way it sets on, well, it sets like a hinge and then you just kind of go from there. Okay. Bigger issue is, is that it came out through there as well. Second time they got out. So what I'm gonna be doing, well, you can't see, there's hotline running all the way across this, this, this back pasture right here. I'm gonna hook to, the line on the end over there. I'm running it all the way down over here, of right over here. And since they've been here before, they don't eat that stuff down a whole lot. So we're just gonna cap it off and end it right there with the hotline. Let's get cracking, guys, because it may be rainy here. And Wally Weatherman said it was gonna be dry all week. Yeah, we know how we trust Wally Weatherman. Wally Weatherman and truck driving, he, that boy lies. He must got his meteorology degree at uh, at the School of Hard Knocks and forgot to enroll himself. Anyways, later after that, we're gonna build a chicken coop. So it'll be not all one video. This will be multiple videos. So y'all stay tuned. I'll do my best to get everything filmed, edited, and out in a timely manner. Timely. Okay. Well, I'm out here checking fence. You ready to run that wire? If you saw my short, you see me fixing that uh, that gate over there. Yeah, it was real easy. Just flip the hinge around, undo the clasp, put the clasp back on the hinge and go. So I'm just checking the, the stability of the fence. It looks like the cows have been working their way out through there. I might have to dig something out there and reattach maybe another T-post there, hang something in the ground. But it seems like every six feet, they got, a, they got a railroad tie in the ground. And yeah, that one is a loose. They got a T-post. Every other one. Huh. Yeah. Checking fence. I need some more anchor ties. Okay. It'll be what it'll be. Let's see what these isolators look like over here. Okay, so here's what he did. He just ran it around. Cool. Oh, that's why it's hitting weird. It's grounding out right here. 
Dang. Yeah, don't touch it. It's hot. That's why it's grounding. Stupid cows. Okay. Okay, so we got the fence getting turned off. I just unplugged it. I want to show you guys how it's run. It is, place is super old, but it's basically it. We've got to run outside with the isolators. And this is <laughs> tractor. We're currently trying to uh, replace the clutch in because the clutch is gone. Engine works great, but you know, we like the tractor or the dozer for at least uh, scraping animal poop and such. That's a good one. Okay. So what I've started, and I've got halfway done down this fence, installing these isolators all the way down. Now I've got the T-post isolators. I'm just starting with the six by sixes first because it just makes sense. Keep everything in hand all at once. Because I don't know what I'm gonna need with the T-post until I get there and then I'll have to manipulate everything. But see them all the way down. It's easy. I mean, it's. I thought it was going to be complicated because I'm a truck driver by trade, not a rancher. But, hey, isn't this beautiful today? Learning to do. Learning to do. I'm only 40. All righty. I'm done with all the isolators, and now I've just started to run the wire. So what I'm going to do is, is uh, sorry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run all this down to the end of the fence line. And uh, if I have enough to turn around and double back down all the way back to here, like it's been done over here, because they literally just went down and over, I'm gonna do that if I have enough line. If I don't, then oh well, it's not a big deal. But um, I really, really need um, the double line because the cow had to get onto the road. But uh, all this is gonna be just just me running a line all the way down, holding it and just kind of feeding it through the oscillators, and which is really simple. Let me show you. So those who don't know, some of these oscillators, don't bother by this. This is another oscillator in and of itself, but it's what I use to hold this one down. It's literally just, you feed it through, you loop it through. Yeah, and you can do a little loop if you want to help secure it, which I may end up doing that every, every so often, but I really want to save the amount of line I've got. And uh, this is a seven strand. So it's meant for horses and cattle. Uh, I've got another one like this inside the, the barn, but I want to use this one up first. It'll do an eighth of a mile. So let's get to work running all this down. Alrighty, close to the road. And I've already run the line up over here. But one thing I had to do before I um, start filling the, 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 the lines down through here, is I had to replace a, a post. Um, could have used a T-post, but through here the ground is really soft. So I needed to go down about two or three feet. About two and a half feet is what I went. This is almost a, a nine foot post. I cut it this morning. If you haven't tried those electric chainsaws, I know they're crazy, but man, is it handy. Holy cow. Like you put the battery in, you pull the trigger. There's no like, there's no messing with the carburetor, all right? So for the one time jobs, quick jobs, grab it and go. And that's what I did. But sunk it down two and a half feet under the ground. And uh, I tapped it as I go. Don't have any water, don't have any gravel. Uh, we're out of all that. I mean, I probably could scavenge a bucket full in the yard somewhere, but that I ain't doing that. So anyways, got to come in and backfill. Well, excuse me, hammer now. The gates and I got some old uh, some old staples I pulled out. I want to see if I can save them. I've got a couple extra that I got that are, that are new. I'll probably use them first. Okay, the fence is done, and uh, I think it looks nice. It's hitting good. Cows are in here. I'm getting ready to run a second line, but that's on the bottom. I'll connect it later. Um, I'm gonna run it across the bottom only if I got enough of these. Uh, I don't really think I do, but I'm gonna see if I do. I'm gonna connect them. Uh, and I've got the anchor points for the, the metal ones, uh, well, the, the wood posts as well. Once I get those connected and the T-post, which are these right here, what makes some difference is uh, that end right there. 
finding these all over the ground amazingly i mean i need them so i'm gonna go connect them um if i can run it mostly down if i can get it all the way down to the to the end there just past those uh those signs those yellow signs that'll be perfect i think i got enough line for it it says of an eighth of a mile so if i can run from halfway down over here to the corner all the way to the truck that old truck double back like i've done i've already doubled back over there because the gate was really weak over there and i went ahead and i reinforced the fence so everything should be fine but you know i want to double up double it up because it's the road and i don't want any chance of them getting out because if they hit that fence they're gonna know it now i just opened up the uh second pasture which is right over there somewhere all right there's a hole right there actually it's right over there somewhere sorry camera's bad right over there yeah right over there so i'm praying that these guys can just move on into there start eating that grass because it's been about a little over a month since they've been in there yeah okay let's carry on it's about three o'clock well hi she's the curious one ha. oh yeah uh herding cows there we go okay well fine hey girls that's a good girl there you go you know there's more over here lots of lots of grass way on over here come on my little lawnmowers y'all can do it well with this y'all i'll end the video right here they'll be good to go for a while they're happy you guys for watching i'm gonna do a thing see y'all next one okay new grass come on new grass you can do it girls new grass no 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 new grass let's go to new grass come on ah uh, herding cows